Black Lightning Series 1, Episode 10, titled Sins of the Father, the Book of Redemption. And this episode is all about Black Lightning finding a mother load of metahumans who have been kidnapped 30 years ago and are still alive to this day, but they're in tubes, they are getting experimented on from the government, and when he goes back to his warehouse, they turn to be gone. And on this episode, Black Lightning wants to know what's going on. And here's the thing. That was appealing. You know, the where's, you know, the bus human, you know, the meta humans being gone. And, the, you know, what, how, you know, 30 years ago, they're still alive and stuff in those lines. And, and you know, how, you know, Jefferson needs to forgive, in a way, the sins of his, um, sins of his mentor. You know, the, the, the father that. Um, his, he took care of him since, since his dad, you know, was gone. For me, that was, that was interesting. But everything doing with Jefferson's family, I felt was a bit, like, I thought this was the last episode. Like, it felt like we were having repeated conversations. You know, one, you know, we, you know, found out that now both of the Jefferson stores has powers. You know, we have Thunder, who is, in a way, is the Robin of Black Lightning and has now has a suit and all kind of stuff. While you have Oso, but you have this, the other daughter, the youngest, who just wants a normal life. She doesn't want to be a superhero. And for me, that was appealing, but it felt like it was occluded. It felt like it was, it ended that kind of like that storyline ended in an episode personally for me like it felt like why are we having re this repeated conversations why are we pushing and pushing and pushing these conversations that i felt like we're done and over why why are we repeating them you know um yeah and and here's the thing like yeah you if you listen to all my thoughts on every episode you know i'm not as crazy with with the show as everyone else is. I won't lie. After the series, after the season's done, I'm probably gonna drop it. I I'm really there's so many things I'm like, like you know I always say about this characters come first. And personally, except Jefferson, your main character and Thunder, every single character I I have problems. The writing I have problems. Um, you know, when it comes to the action scenes, you know, you know if you appear to like Arrow or Flash or, or Supergirl, they use attentional music. They don't use modern day pop songs because the moment that does it, for me personally, it whips it out. It takes any sort of momentum from those action scenes. I would love to have first a better opposer because I'm sorry, every time I hear. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I'm sorry, that sounds like a lot of bite. Come on, it's a superhero show. Let's get some, you know, pump music, let's say. And, you know, the whole, you know, that Black Lightning is back. He's been back for the last, you know, why, why, uh, there's so many things when it comes to the acting scenes, the music, and stuff that's like the characters. It just feels like, I feel like, yeah, I was, I just, there was so much potential with it, and I personally, I'm officially, after, after I reviewed the last episode of season one, I'm not reviewing, um, I'm not going to watch any more Black Lightning, I'm officially dropping it, just, it has that so much potential, it's just, it's just, meh. And I'm not, it's not grabbing me as the other shows have. 